welcome back to another ASOS haul. So I thought I would do another ASOS haul as my last one went down quite well with you guys. I did put a little question box on my Instagram and ask what brands like you want to see for my next hauls. And I got a few different ones, but the one that kept coming up was ASOS. And I feel like that is because if you follow me on Instagram, you probably do know that ASOS is like my go-to. A lot of my stuff comes from ASOS. I'm not even, I'm not sponsored by them, but like it probably does seem it sometimes because literally majority of the stuff that I get is from there just because I think I said in my last video as well, they stock so many different brands that I always end up gravitating towards them for like very much day-to-day -day outfits and like casual outfits. Normally for like dressing up and stuff, I don't really go towards ASOS unless they have like a party collection out or something like that. But yeah, for like day-to-day -day and like casual looks, which I feel like is kind of more my thing most of the time, um, I do rely on ASOS quite a lot. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Again, I ordered so much this week and I've already taken a few pictures and some of the items that I've already got. So I'm gonna show you that first because they're already out of like the packages and stuff already. And then I ordered some stuff last night and the night before because I've got like the next day delivery thing. So they're here already and I've got like another three bags. And I'm also gonna do a split screen thing as well for you guys so you can see it on me. Um, and I'm trying to think what else because I know this video is gonna be a long one as it is, um, so I don't really wanna ramble in the beginning. Uh, sizes, so again, sizes will be in the description and the links, obviously. Yeah, I'm gonna jump straight in because like I said, it's gonna be a long video, I feel like, which I hope you guys don't mind, um, but I'm gonna start off with the stuff that I've already tried on. So I'm just gonna move over for the split screen. Starting with this jacket. So this jacket is actually Topshop. So you guys probably know that Topshop, it is still a thing, but it's only a thing on ASOS. They have their own little section on there now. But I do love Topshop's quality, so I'm so happy that ASOS did. And I think they bought them, I'm not actually sure. I think they must have done, but they're just on ASOS now. I feel like it's quite like a deep blue. Or like a muted blue I feel like and it's just a little crop jacket I have a similar jacket like this but in like a full length size but I do really love the crop style of this one thing I really really love about this jacket is the uh, little toggle detail here that cinches in on the waist um, I feel like it does give that really nice illusion on the waist especially if you're wearing like like I would wear them with these baggy jogging bottoms and then on top I mean I would wear like a loose fitted crop jacket anyway but I feel like with this like kind of tightened at the bottom it does give a really nice effect so yeah I love this so much it's just got little pockets on the sides I also wore this paired with these new Stradivarius leggings you guys know how much I love these leggings I have them in like I think I might actually have them in every single color now so I actually have them in the black green gray cream and now the blue ones um, so I feel like these went really nice with that I just want like a white top and white trainers I'll just show you on the side like, these are just like my trusted go-to leggings I love rib leggings I've literally feel like they go with everything um, on like a day-to-day -day basis obviously I have a lot of trust in these because I've worn my other ones so much so I know these ones are gonna last me moving on to another jacket that I've already worn or not jacket gilet that I've already worn um, and taken pictures in is this it's kind of like a matte color again but obviously like a light green khaki style this one is from weekday but stopped on ASOS so I love weekday so much I actually made an order with them the other day so I might do a little haul on my Instagram stories when I receive that package but weekday there a little bit more pricey but I feel like their quality is so good like the quality of this jacket feels so nice it is lightweight but it also can wear like hoodies with it or like long sleeve tops depending on the weather but yeah I feel like weekday quality is so good and worth the money so I knew this was going to be a really nice piece. I feel like I just wore it with like a black outfit. I'll put the um, picture where I styled it on the side. But yeah, I really, really love this one. I have like a darker green full length gilet, but not a cropped lighter green one. So, I mean, I really love this. I feel like I actually do like it more than my full length one. I think I might have showed the full length one in my last haul. But I feel like I prefer this one actually. I'm not sure. I do feel like this might be a better one. So I might actually sell the other one. I'm not sure. Because I feel like what's the point in having two green gilets? I don't know. Maybe there is, but I really, really like this one. This is going to be a little bit difficult to show here. So I'll just insert the picture and obviously me trying it on. But it is this dark grey Rain Mac from the brand Rains. 
So they're obviously stocked on ASOS as well. Um, I've actually only got a bag from this brand before, not an actual piece of clothing. They are a little bit more pricey as well. I did see this and then the boots that I saw after, I had to get it because I was like, they do match really, really nice. I am a little bit unsure on like what else I could style this with other than the way I styled it in the picture. So I wore like grey leggings, like a hoodie. Um, I think I wore a hoodie cardigan. But I mean, you could wear like a little crop jumper or something with this. But like what else? I mean, I guess you could wear it with like black jeans and do a little look like that. I think that could be quite nice but yeah it is really lightweight so I feel like you would need to layer up if you are wearing it this time of year but maybe when it gets a little bit warmer you could wear this on like dog walks even though it is still raining and things like that this would be quite nice still um so I do love this one and then the boots that I paired it with are these ones here you can see why I felt like these would go really well with the jacket so I feel like the look was really nice also I bought another coat which I'm going to show you in a minute which would go with these as well very similar to the rain mat but I feel like I wanted that one as well I'll show you that one in a minute but these grey boots call my eye when I saw them on the website because I actually haven't really got anything like this I feel like the contrast between like the light grey and the darker grey was really what caught my eye um because I haven't really seen anything like it I just feel like they're really cool actually but again I don't really know too much of what I could style these with other than my grey or any other leggings do you know what I mean I guess I could wear like an oversized like hoodie jacket with it they're not that tall but I still feel like you could wear something that comes to like below like just above the knee with these as well yeah I do really really love these and I can't wait to style them a bit more as well other than the look that I've already done so the jacket or the trench coat that I was talking about that I thought would go nice with these boots as well is this really long dark grey trench coat you can see it is quite similar to the rain mac obviously it's not a rain mac but still quite similar so i'm unsure if i'm going to keep this i'm going to try it on and see what it looks like on and how it feels and stuff but yeah i do really love this it's looking a bit more green in person actually like with the green inside but yeah the material feels really good quality actually like really really thick and heavy i do love a trench coat i actually haven't got a gray trench coat so i feel like this is going to be like a nice addition to my trench coat but yeah it's got the little wrist belt things on here with a little button and some pockets here as well so i feel like i've started off with so many jackets um but it's literally just what i've already had opened but i've got this really nice adidas bomber jacket the only thing i would say with this bomber jacket because i have actually tried it on and i'm a little bit unsure on like how the jacket works like the front of it is quite short and then the back of it is quite long do you see what i mean it like comes down to here and the front bit doesn't go that far down and like the collar is really large and it's a little bit hard to fold over like it won't stay there so i'm unsure i feel like if this was a bit smaller to be fair i could have got a smaller size than this so maybe if i get a smaller size this might be better i'm gonna try it on again and then style it and see how i feel but i'm not sure on the length of the back of it because it just looks a bit like strange why they've done it like really long at the back and then really short at the front but overall i do love the style of this jacket and just i wanted like a black basic bomber jacket that just had something that made it feel a little bit more not luxury but just like more than your basic standard bomber jacket if that makes sense because it is adidas so it has a little bit of a logo a little bit of something so yeah i'm gonna see with this one maybe i'll get a smaller size okay moving on to something that's completely different to the stuff that I not like the casual stuff that I normally wear and like completely different to the jackets. I bought this little lime skirt. This skirt is actually from River Island and I did see it in there, but it was it, they didn't have my size in River Island. So I saw it on ASOS and thought I'd buy it. And then I'll show you the shoes that I've got with this as well, which I would pair with it if I wore it out. It is really bright for me, but I feel like with a white top, similar to like this, like a long sleeve, but a little bit more of like a dressy top or like a little bralette type thing with this would be really, really cute. But I do feel like a pop of colour like on a night out is quite like trendy at the moment and i feel like i've seen something really similar to this on zara and i feel like it's sold out um it's like got that little pattern stuff the zara one but this one's obviously just like a plain little mini skirt and i'll show you the shoes that match i don't know if you, how you guys are going to feel about them but i do really like them because they do match with the skirt but they are quite out there i'll get them now right so these are the shoes that i bought um to match with the skirt you can see the color match is amazing like these are asos design and then this is river island i mean they look a bit different actually on screen but in person they literally look identical but i just thought is that too much of a pop of color if we wear them both together i don't know i feel like that does look cute you know people are matching like their bags with their outfits and like i do that all the time but like when it's such a big pop of color i normally just do like one thing i normally just do pop of colors on like accessories rather than the actual like item 
or like the actual like outfit like the skirt or the dress yeah what do you guys think together with like make with like obviously like a white top or something like a little bit toned down on the top i feel like that could be a look i'm not sure I'm gonna try it on and see. So going back to more of my casual stuff, I've got this oversized Reclaim Vintage jumper. You guys know I love Reclaimed Vintage. Again, with Reclaim Vintage, I think I said on my last haul, their jumpers are quite thin, like they're not that really thick quality. But I do just love the style of their, like, the logos and stuff they have like, on the front. Yeah, I do really, really like this jumper. It has a little logo at the front there. I just feel like a nice casual tracksuit type thing. I did get the tracksuit bottom, but they are going to be too big for me. I've literally looked at them already and I tried my luck with getting a larger size because it was one of the last ones in stock. But even though it's drawstring, I think it is going to be quite big for me. But these are the bottoms. They just have the matching logo on the bottom there. And then like the cuffs at the bottom and the cuff at the top to like cinch you in. But yeah, I feel like I'm going to try them on, but I do feel like these are going to be a little bit big for me. So I'm just going to wait and see if a smaller size does come up. But if not, I'll just probably keep the oversized hoodie and then send these joggers back. So next, I'm not sure if this is really me, but I'm going to give it a go and see how I feel. It's this knitted dress. I have got knitted dresses, um, but they're more of like your baggy style rather than like, you know, I feel like this is quite cutesy and I feel like my style isn't too like cutesy. But I might try this maybe with like a long jacket or like trench coat or like pad, um, puffer jacket, like long one. But yeah, it has like the little tie waist there and it has like a V neckline, which I like. And also it comes in at the sleeves, which I feel like adds a little bit of shape to the arms. I think it comes in at the bottom as well, but I'm not 100%. But like that would be nicer if it comes in a tiny bit and gives you like a bit of like a hip shape to the dress. But yeah, I'm going to try it on and see how I feel. But sometimes when I try on some outfits and they feel really cutesy, it just doesn't feel like me. But yeah, I'm going to see with this one and see how I feel wearing it. So I've got another leather jacket I wanted to try. So if you watched my last haul, um, you might have seen that leather jacket that I bought. And it was just way too short on the sleeves for me. It was a really nice jacket, but it just wasn't me. It was quite fitted. And I think I said in there, it reminds me of like my, my younger days when I was like 13 and I was obsessed with my leather jacket. And it was literally like identical to that um but this one is more of like an oversized fit it's still cropped but not as fitted as that one um and it doesn't have like that big chunky buckle which i prefer as well actually but yeah it comes up to like there and the arms are quite long on this one thankfully and they're quite the arms are quite large as well um so it does give that more oversized feel which i think is going to be suited more to my style actually so yeah i'm excited to try this on and see how it looks it just has like little pockets there and then obviously you can open it up and then have it open as well yeah i just feel like this probably matches my style a little bit more and it's not too thick as well and it doesn't feel too like squeaky or anything the quality actually feels really nice so i'm excited to try this one on so opening the next package i'm not really too sure what i was thinking but i don't know okay so it's these boots i feel like they are quite cute i don't know i'm gonna try them on the only thing that I can actually, no, there's a few things I could wear with these. I feel like, you know my Borge, I mean, you might not know, but I have this Borge jacket um, that's similar to this. Maybe with like some nude leggings. I feel like these could be really nice. They're just very different, but I mean, and they were quite expensive actually. I'm not sure. I'm going to try them on with the jacket, but I could possibly wear it with like, um, actually in my last ASOS haul, I showed you guys the like mushroom coloured uh, puffer jacket. Um, so that could be quite nice as well. Yeah, I'm gonna try these on and see how I feel. It also has this like tightening bit here as well. And I'm not really too sure how the laces work. But I'm gonna have to try it on to figure that out. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about these. I'm gonna go on to these jogging bottoms. So they are red, which is a little bit out there for me. I don't really wear red that often, actually, unless it's like tracksuits and stuff. This is a tracksuit, but yeah. This is quite bright and it's like all red. Um, I mean, and no, that's a lie. I actually only have like jumpers that are red, not like bottoms that are red. Um, these are Adidas as well, actually. Um, but I just thought I'd buy it and then see how I could style it. I feel like these could look really cool, actually, with like a white little vest. Um, you know, the ones that I usually wear, like the ones that come up to here or like a cropped. I mean, maybe they have like a matching, but then is that a bit much? No. I feel like maybe I can look and see if they have a matching jumper 
A crop jumper would look really nice with these actually, but they are quite a bit of a statement piece, which I do love. And the quality of Adidas is really, really nice. So I am looking forward to trying these on. And I hope the fit is really nice on the waist as well. Um, but they have like the waistband bit like that. And then also at the bottom, obviously it comes in as well. And then the little Adidas logo is white on these. So yeah, excited to try these and style these as well. So I've just realized there's a few things in here that are actually from Adidas. Um, Cause obviously I bought that bomber jacket and then I've got the tracksuit bottoms and then I've got these tracksuit bottoms. Oh wait, actually no, these are Nike. Um, but I've got another tracksuit that is Adidas. Um, but I just bought these like, again, like a mushroom type color, kind of gray, but kind of with a tint of like brown um, jogging bottoms. Oh, sorry, they're not actually jogging bottoms, they're like jogging flares. Um, so they're just like this. I've seen them in the black, which I did want, but they're sold out. Um, but this colour is cute as well. Um, so it's just tight at the waist, and then down at the bottom, it has the loose fit bottoms. Um, and then it has like the little, um, what's this called again? A dart down the centre of the leg. Um, so I do feel like these are really cute. It has like the little white tick and the outline of the like brown tick as well. So I feel like these would be really cute for like everyday wear, crop jumpers, crop tops, and just like around the house, going to the shop. Cute little crop puffer jackets as well with this. Would look really nice. So yeah, love these. So I was just about to show you guys my tracksuit, kind of tracksuit, the tracksuit bottoms and the top, like the um, oversized t-shirt that I got from Adidas on ASOS. But I've just realised, so I have the bottoms here, but the top's not here. So I checked my app, the ASOS app, and half of the delivery is due to arrive on the 17th of January. Bearing in mind it's the 13th of January right now. And I have ASOS next day delivery. What is that about? That's like six, five to six day delivery. I think I ordered it two days ago. How does that work? Okay, so I'm probably just going to show you pictures of the stuff and then add the links I'll probably I'm just going to talk through that after um that's really annoying so the tracksuit bottoms I've got are these Adidas original jogging bottoms so I actually saw these on a TikTok um this girl was wearing them and she was wearing the oversized white t-shirt with them and it looked so cool so I was like I'm gonna get that and they're actually on sale on ASOS so yeah I've got these I think it's the top's white and then these are kind of like an oatmeal type off-white color um and then you have like the orangey red logo on the bottom yeah, they're quite thin actually but they do feel quite nice um still so the last couple of bits that i've got are these miss selfridge black flared um trousers so they're kind of like that crinkle not really crinkle but a little bit crinkle material i wanted some black flares for a while that are more stretchy material i'm still looking for some more ribbed ones but i can't actually find them but yeah i've got these little flared ones these are just kind of go with so much like i have these kind of flared trousers in a lot of colors but not ones that i really love in black so i thought i'd just get black and then yeah they literally go with so so much so last puffer jacket that I forgot to show you guys is this kind of brown, it looks really dark on the screen, but it's like a really dark brown puffer jacket. This is actually men's, but I saw it and really liked the fit of it on the model. So I decided to get it. It's a little bit more fitted than the other puffer, brown puffer jackets I've got, and a bit darker. But yeah, I do really like this. I'm just kind of thinking that maybe the sleeves might be a little bit long. I'll see and have a look when I try it on. Yeah, it's kind of like your standard brown puffer jacket. Which again, you could wear with so much like denim jeans or leggings, jogging bottoms, tracksuits, just for like everyday wear. Just to add a little bit of a different color rather than just like your standard black puffer jacket. I feel like this would be really cute. And then lastly, I have some jewelry bits from ASOS. Um, these are all ASOS design. Um, so starting with the earrings I got. So I got this little standard um, gold hoop earring set of three. Wait, is it focusing? So yeah, obviously you have the big one, medium sized and the little one. So I have three earring holes. So I feel like they, these would look really nice as a like a trio together. Um, the only thing with ASOS earrings, don't sleep in them or shower in them or wear them longer than you have to because they will tarnish fairly quickly if you do all of those things. Obviously they're not like real gold or anything like that. So you will have to like replace them after like 
a certain amount of months of wearing them if you don't overwear them they, they will probably will last you a little bit longer but yeah i feel like nights out and stuff these will look really cute um and then i've also got these ones i thought they were going to be a lot smaller than they are on here actually so you've got all like the different colors like green pink and blue yeah i thought they were going to be like really tiny little ones not like the big chunky ones i don't know how i feel about because they are quite colorful and I'm not really like a colourful earring person, if, unless it's like a really like dainty earring. Um, like I have a little green earring clasp that I wear quite a lot, which is like an emerald colour. But it's quite like subtle. Whereas these are quite chunky and bold. So I'm not sure how I feel about these, but they are quite cute if you do like a little bit of a pop of colour um, when you wear earrings. And then I got another set. But this is a pair of six earrings. So I mainly got these for like the top two. And then this pair here as well. Again, just for like the more smaller um, holes. I feel like those are really nice. I'm not too keen on the bigger ones, but um, I guess you could wear those as well if you were into that. Um, but for me, I personally just got them for like the top ones. But I feel like these could look cute, actually. They are quite big for what I usually wear. But yeah, I do really love these as well. And for the price, it is really good. And then I got one of the ASOS Design rings. This was actually in the curved sizes, so probably a little bit bigger for me, but I got it in the extra small or small, um, because I believe the like, smaller sizes were out of stock. Um, but the size small does actually fit this finger, if you can see. So this last piece of jewellery that I got was this ring from And Other Stories. Um, I believe this one was a little bit more pricey. Um, maybe it's like gold plated or something, but I think it is a little bit better quality. But yeah, it's just this little ring here, which has like kind of like a creased look throughout it. And it's not as much of like a bright gold as the other ones, which I do like as well. Um, and then that's it on. So yeah, I do love that one as well. Um, and then I'm going to go on to just showing you some of the bits that I bought, which haven't actually come. I'm going to show you on the screen. So it's all of this stuff here. If you can see, it says it's going to deliver on the 17th, which is so annoying. But I bought one there actually like a little pinky ring, which I'll show you. They actually only have size small at the moment. So I'm not sure if that will be in stock when this goes up, but we shall see. And then I've got the white top obviously that i showed you guys earlier that i'm gonna get the adidas originals white top and then i've got these kind of um it says it's in the color eat crew but it's definitely like more of like an oatmeal They're like a split leg trouser that the ones that i say that i always wear like the ribbed trousers flare trousers um <clears throat> i actually really like the top that she's wearing it with but i haven't actually seen that online so potentially i could buy that as well to wear with it so yeah i love that and then i've just got the bershka oversized faux leather blazer in black i've got a similar one but it's very oversized whereas this one's a tiny bit more fitted um i guess if you size up a lot you would get that really oversized look i mean it says it is oversized anyway but I feel like this looks a little bit smaller than the other one because my one I kind of wear over my shoulders because when I do wear it like in my arms it is quite big. So yeah, I'm really excited to try that one. And then lastly, I've got another pair of flared trousers, which are the Topshop Skinny Red Flare Trouser in Eat Crew. So similar to the other ones that I showed you, but these are definitely a different colour. They both say they're an Eat Crew, but the other ones are definitely more of like an oat oatmeal colour and these ones are more of like off-white. So yeah, I got both of those just to see which ones I prefer. I mean, they are different colours, so we'll just see what they look like on, if I keep them both or not. But these are lovely as well. I haven't really got this colour in the flare trousers. So yeah, I feel like I could style these with quite a few things. Um, yeah, that is everything. Um, I'm so sorry about the last part of this video and not being able to show you the full... Haul. but honestly i had no idea i thought i really did have everything with me because of how many bags i had hopefully you guys enjoyed it and let me know if there's any other brands that you want to see me do and film even if it is asos again you guys know i don't mind or zara or if there's any others i mean i did get a few other suggestions as well but if you can think of anything leave a comment down below but yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in my next video